Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so this is going to be a Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon and uh, Gemini Rising weekly tarot reading for June 3rd to June 9th, 2019 and uh, just bear with me a second guys to shuffle the tarot cards and uh, we can go straight away to the spread. All right, so the first card which represents Cancer's uh, topic of the week, that is going to be the Queen of Cups, followed by the second card which regards to the challenges which Cancer, um, <clears throat> not Cancer, but Gemini, excuse me. So there I said Cancer, so yeah, that will be Gemini. Okay, so that Gemini needs to overcome, that will be the Six of Wands. Followed by the third one, that will be the positive aspect of the week for Gemini. That will be the Five of Swords. And the last one, it is the guidance the Tarot is offering to you, Geminis. That will be the Eight of Cups. So once again, we do have the Queen of Cups, which represents the very topic of your week. Followed by the second one that stands for the challenges. This is the Six of Wands. Afterwards, we do have the Five of Swords, that is the positive aspect of the week for you. And the last one, Eight of Cups, stands for Guidance. Okay, Gemini, so that will be um, a bit disappointing week um, from your behalf. It's um, because uh, you will find it rather hard, you know, to get appreciation for your work. That That is all that it is happening for throughout the week. So we do have someone who very well sees that uh, what you did, it's uh, more than enough, if I may express it that way, but sadly that's not the person you need to see it. So uh, this week you can expect, for example, that you are gonna do something quite good, you know, for your wife or for your husband or for your boss, supervisor, colleague, and so on and so forth. And it looks like that they will not appreciate it the way you expect them to appreciate it. And that will be the challenge, you know, to make them appreciate it the way they are supposed to. The very, the very worst um, thing that can happen here is that you not get paid or compensated, if I may express it that way. So you may not keep being compensated accordingly to the performance that you do exert. In either way, the topic here, that is the Queen of Cups, and that is a person which is going to be a topic who supports you throughout this endeavor. You trying to get what you deserve, or you trying to be compensated, you know, <clears throat> either with appreciation, recognition, or a rewards according to your performance, either in regards to your career or either in regards to your relationship. The thing with the Queen of Cups is that she... I'm saying she because it's a queen, you know, but it could be he as well. I very well know what you, what you're going through because that person has a, a very big understanding in the human nature in general and in this case into your nature as well. And uh, that person very well knows how, how can I place it, either disappointed or hurt you are going to be seeing that there is no 
compensation for your performance either at work or appreciation for your performance in regards to uh, relationship life as well. Now, the Queen of Cups as well, it's a very discreet person, so there is absolutely nothing you should be afraid of, of sharing with uh, this person. It is just when you share with them what you're going through, uh, you will feel that emotional lightness, uh, if I may express it uh, that way. The accompanied card here, that will be the Knight of Cups, <clears throat> the combination, it is a passive supporters that we do have. And uh, basically what happened here is uh, that this, uh, this woman, I would say, or a person will encourage you not to give up, all right? Just because you are facing certain setback and just because the current situation here, it is rather misfortunate that you are finding yourself out. It could be as well involved with that you realize that you are good enough to have something and yet you don't have it, all right? For example, you are good enough to be in a certain position into your career and yet that position is, is given to someone else or you have been denied to get that position. You're good enough to be better paid or to get to a better paid job, but for some reason, even though you're applying for a... Uh, <clears throat> for an interview and for the position, uh, nobody, nobody, nobody uh, is returning your calls. So this person will encourage you not to give up because eventually you know you're going to get what's, uh, what you deserve and that is the case, but most likely not in this week, unfortunately. So uh, the challenge that you need to overcome here, that is the six of wands and we're talking about the recognition, appreciation, help, you know, or a, the rewards that you do deserve. And that will be the challenge itself, either to salvage the situation or to make those people value you uh, appropriately. So for that to happen, you know, uh, you need to do a couple of things. It does depend where it comes from, uh, this mis, uh, mis-evaluation, all right? But you either need to make them aware that uh, without you, they're nothing, or uh, either without you, they couldn't get that far, you know? Or the other way, how you can approach uh, the situation here is by asking someone to help you make those people pay or make those people appreciate you as well. The accompanied card here, that will be the King of Swords. And the formation, it is a uh, active uh, friends that we do have. So yeah, it's um, it's just a confirmation here with the King of Swords, guys, that you do deserve a certain position of authority or you do deserve, how can I describe it, uh, your voice to be heard, all right? Your voice to be listened and your way to be examined as well, either regarding career or relationship-wise. Unfortunately, those that you're trying to push your opinion forward with, it's, they're not willing to listen, at least not that week. Okay, at least not not now. And you will have what I'm trying to say here is that you will have a very hard time to make up your points. Not because your point is bad or anything, but because it's not suitable for those that you want to make your point with. So that leads us to uh, the next card, which is uh, the positive aspect of the week. And this is the Five of Swords. So Five of Swords is going to play a couple of roles for you. First of all, uh, you will start becoming more and more aware who is um, acceptable for your social circle and for your association and who needs to just simply go away. And uh, the way I see it here, Geminis, is that you're going to make a severe purge uh, with your co-workers that you are associating yourself with, with your friends as well, you know, and in generally with the way how things are done, either career or either relationship-wise as well. And on top of that, it seems that you're also going to build up certain boundaries that are to surround your estate, not allowing anybody else, furthermore, from now on, you know, to... Um, treat you or if i have to say to mistreat you the way that you are feeling uh, you are mistreated up until this uh, very moment with uh, that thing which you know, you are not appreciate enough 
Uh, the accompanied card here, that will be the Seven of Pentacles formation. It is a active enemies that we do have. And uh, the Seven of Pentacles points that you will be pretty convinced of your righteousness at that specific point. And you will be pretty as well convinced that if those that you are trying to get appreciation from right now are not, uh, are not giving it to you, then you are going to find those who are who are going to give it to you. So uh, before we go to the last card, few notes that I want to make here with these cards. So the way I see it is, let's say, you know, you're trying to make your partner happy, you know, into your marriage or into your uh, into your relationship. And even though they are happy, they just take you for granted. It, it is just how it looks like to me. And that seriously hurts you in one way or another or you're trying to make your sweeter happy and they are they they become happy when you contribute for their happiness but for one or another reason you know they push you back when you try to make something more serious so what happens here is that throughout the week you are going to recognize your chances and if they don't want to make you happy then you're going to find someone who is going to make you happy. That's, for example, if we're talking about relationships. So the only one who needs to be afraid of that they're going to end up on the downer hand, if I may express it that way, because either way, you're going to end up on the upper hand, just not in this week, are they. They need to be afraid that they're going to lose you. For example, if we talk about relationships or even in, even if career, even if we're talking about career, you know, if uh, your boss does not appreciate you enough, then most likely you're going to find a better place place where you're going to be appreciated and you're going to be paid enough for what you are doing and what you are incorporating in your career as well. <clears throat> So it's a lesson that you need to learn that if you are not um, appreciated enough at one place, hoping that this is going to change is not going to help it. All right. You need to make the change. People don't change because they want to, but because something makes them. And you need to make either those people to change or you need to make yourself to change. So this is the guidance and uh, this is the eight of wands, the, the eight of cups here. And the guidance says that even though the current situation may be not as fortunate as you hope to be, a better perspective is awaiting you further down the road as you walk along with your future. So that is a confirmation that either way, you will end up with something much more beneficial than now, um, Gemini's. But uh, with the Eight of Wands, how can I describe it? Um, you should stop trying to fix what is broken, okay? But rather focus on your future. Stop concerning yourself with what could be. Stop concerning yourself with, with the past, but rather st start, uh, how can I place it? Attending to the future instead. So, for example, if you, um, let's say if you find out that your partner were cheating on you, all right? and you're trying the best you can to fix that thing and you don't see an appreciation from their behalf, you should stop um, blaming yourself or rather like being stuck with this situation of the cheating, right? But instead, point your glance upon the future and decide is this relationship can be, you know? And if your partner will never gonna change their opinion according to your assessment, or maybe it's time for you to seek someone else who is going to make you happy. The accompanied card here, that is the moon formation. It is a uh, passive friend. And uh, oh, with those cards, the, the moon only confirms that a, a much better fortune is awaiting you uh, somewhere in the future. That is, you may not see it now because the moon shrouds everything with, with vagueness, with mystery. But in the same time, urges you not to deviate from the path that you have chosen, the grand path that you have chosen to be successful career-wise or to be happy into relationship. And if current relationship does not make you happy, then you know what you need to do. If your current career uh, does not make you lucrative, for example, as lucrative as you think you deserve, then obviously you know what you got to do. And you do have someone who is going to support you throughout that process, someone that you can definitely rely on, someone that is going to guide you and is always going to be an, an emotional support for you. So that being said, Gemini's, this was your weekly tarot reading for June 3rd to uh, June 9th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.